You can see Jared like rolled up like a pig in a blanket. Morning. sushi <laughs> roll. Okay, so to start off, I'm just gonna give you like the overall summary. So this is a subunit of Vix. Robbie, who is a rapper, he's the white-haired dude in this music video, and Leah, who is a vocalist and is the black-haired dude. And basically, the theories are that Robbie, the white-haired guy, represents the truth of this person, and Leo, the black-haired guy, represents the lie or the mask. Did you seriously write notes? Yes, I fucking wrote notes. <laughs> I am passionate about this music video. Yes. <laughs> So it's beautiful the way that, like that's such a human man, that's the mask hiding that everything is perfect. But this is actually how he feels, he feels tormented. Ah, look at that symbolism! Okay. So she sees the truth for a little, for a few seconds. Is he, is he gonna stop me? And she's like, oh no, he's not gonna stop me. So that's, that's, that's the music video that I think is the best one. Petey, it's your turn now. You don't use YouTube on dark mode? <laughs> no. Uh, I use it hurts my eyes to see that. Where you go? This song um. kind of sounds like rewrite the stars from Greatest Showman. Just oh my god. Right. <laughs> this came out first though. Yes, I know. Right? But, you know, well, using connections. It's a huge Jackman yeah. ripped off K-pop. No, Zach Efron and Zendaya ripped off K-pop. Oh. <laughs> First of all, I don't believe in a best music video. Um, I think there are just better videos. Uh, so I just need to come up with a video better than this. Um, I have two videos in mind, but what, what's the criteria here? Because you got, no, I mean, you got all like start stoppy and you got all like, into the lyrics and whatnot. So is it not just about the music video? Is it's, it? It's 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 what is a great experience. In my opinion, a music, a good music video has to go along with the lyrics and has to go along with the music. So it's just in your opinion, what makes a music video good? Because that's that's what is my opinion. Opinion. Your yours can be completely different. It doesn't have to go along with the lyrics. They they decide whether which one they like best. Huh. That's true. <laughs> Okay, um, all right, Kevin, how about you decide? I have two music videos in mind. I have two in mind. One, um... We have ten minutes, Petey. Okay, it's less visually interesting, but the, but the lyrics, I would say, make the music video more powerful. Or, the next one, the lyrics are all right. The second one. <laughs> but, it's, but it's visually more interesting, all right? I mean, if you guys don't know, um, or if it's your first time seeing this video or hearing this song, the song is called Want. The lyrics essentially, it's, it's about seduction, but it's just, it's beyond just, it's beyond just like romantic seduction, it's also like a sort of hypnosis. The reason why I like this music video, or at least why I think it's better uh, specifically, uh, is um, this is actually secretly a super satanic video disguised as like a K-pop artsy minimalist gallery art piece. Whereas I felt like Umu's video, it feels very much like a music video and that's fine. I'm more into like a more, no, not a satanic, no, no, a more, a more cinematic uh, approach to uh, the music. So to end this panel, you're gonna crush uh, my insecurities. <laughs> so raise your hand if you thought Fix LR was great. It was great. It was, great. It was, great. was the best. It was better than Taman. Okay, okay, whatever. Raise your hand for Taman. <laughs> I got a woo. <laughs> going to set a scene for us. And so then Kevin, who has perfect pitch, <laughs> is going to choose a key for us to play. And PD is going to continue setting up the scene. And we're just going to keep, keep flip-flopping back and forth, deciding what to do. And hopefully it won't sound too bad. Right, so let's, let's get started. PD, please set the scene for us. 
Um, can I get a random prompt? Just like a, um, a straw. Well, no, hold on. Um, a type of setting. Setting. Sorry, a random setting. A strawberry field. She really likes strawberries. So it's a doctor that visits the strawberry field every year because their wife died. Was she buried in the strawberry field? That's super dumb. Yes. No. He murdered her. Wait, was there infidelity involved in the story? There is now. Oh, gosh. Oh, I don't like this direction. But yeah. Good. She was sleeping with the strawberry farmer. His wife was like, oh. Yeah. She really likes strawberry. <laughs>
through. Did you just say maybe I can find some kawaii? Kawaii shit. Yes. Oh yeah, you're gonna find some kawaii shit. You ready to spend all that money that you didn't bring? Yes, all of it. All Great. of your money. Great. Oh, y'all, do we have a budget? A budget? Do we have a budget? Zero dollars. Okay. One million dollars. <laughs> okay, one million, zero. What about you, James? Um, until my bank account tells me no. <laughs> okay, we'll check in in a few hours to see how we do. My, mine is don't spend more than a hundred. Okay. Today. <laughs> this next person, this is Kiari Pamu Pamu. What the? So it's like marshmallow, but they look like Jack Skellington. What the? Okay, but the animation looks amazing. What in God's name? This is a Christian panel. Yeah, it's great. It's not too long. I was absorbed. And it's the same length as the other one, but they change it so much that it's not the same. Yeah, it's a lot more momentum. And just the upbeat nature of it and the and the Undertale references. <laughs> Yeah, no, I think a big thing I'm noticing in J-pop is there's well, a couple of things, really. The one thing is the, the vocals aren't nearly as, like, intricate. Like, there's kind of like a, even, like, the sound is just very, like, it's very, like, mono. And, like, there's more emphasis on all the crazy synth stuff, like, going on in the background. Also, in the videos themselves, they give less of a crap about being really weird. Like, like, there's like a line and they just obliterate it. But they do it in such a tasteful way that you don't even care. It's like, she literally took a strawberry dunk and I was like, still in. I guess that's all. Uh, yeah, also the, uh, the repetitiveness is like, I don't know, I guess you don't mind it because they keep adding things to the instrumental, which is what you're really paying attention to, which is why you don't realize that you've heard the same vocal line like 90 times. My analysis brain turned off throughout that entire song. Like, I see the first few key changes, and then it was just low intrusion. Yeah, it started off just so innocent. I was like, okay, this is probably going to go some places, but I never, never expected that. Because, you know, she starts throwing in weirdness in the music video, and then suddenly the music becomes weird, and the music video becomes even weirder. And, like, it just keeps going until your brain is just, like, kind of overwhelmed. Scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Water, beating. One, one, okay. Choose, but these three people were consistent on all of our lists. So 
So our first winner is Bonnie. Yay! Our second winner is going to be Pink Hair K-pop Idol Black Sister. And then third, I really like the commitment to trying something new. Uh, uh, checkers uh, with with, uh, with our checkers with our checkered sleeve. Uh, our three winners. Uh, thank you. We have our tab winners. Thank you. Uh, that's the end of our panel. Thank you for coming. Hello, everyone. Welcome Hello. to the classical musicians play anime and K-pop and Pokemon panel. And today. Thank <laughs> you.